just in case somebody else needs help too. Okay. okay so, uh, so when we're lo looking at these problems, you're going to divide it up into shapes that you know, that you know you can get the um, the area for. So, like on this one here, if I divide it up, I'm going to have a square. And you're going to have a triangle, right? Now, for a square, I just need the base times the height. What's the base? Seven. Yep. And then the height? Seven. Seven. So I'm going to do seven times seven. Do you know what that is? Uh, not on top of my head. <laughs> well, I, I do. Mm -hmm. You got a calculator, right? Uh, do you got any problems with that? Uh, Desmos.com? Uh, no. I mean, but I mean, you have access to a calculator? Like one of the, like, the ones you use at school? Well, no, you, you, I don't know if they're going to let uh, issue those out. But Desmos.com has a scientific calculator and it'll do all this stuff. So anyway, the square part is going to be 49 inches squared. Now we're going to do the triangle part. And the triangle is going to be base times height divided by two. Now, if you look at the triangle, the base is going to be the same as this guy over here, right? Yeah. So my base is equal to seven. The height is what's tricky. What do you think the height is? Will it still be seven? Well, this. Oh, is, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's you got four. to. It's four. There you go. You do the 11 minus seven, and you're going to get four. So that means yeah. the height is four. So now when I do it, I'm going to do seven times four divided by two. Okay. And then that'll be 28 divided by 2, which is 14. So this guy is going to be 14 inches squared. Now, on these problems, you're going to have, uh, if, the, if everything is great, you're going to add them. Okay, on the next page, the next example I'm going to do, if you have, uh, if one is white and the other shape is gray, then you're subtracting. So in this case, since they're both gray, we add. So my last step is going to be 14 plus 49, which is going to be equal to 63 inches squared. Got it? Yeah. Make sure you get that written down. So like on these guys, that's what you're going to do. You're going to have, you're going to have a square, which is six times six. You're going to have a rectangle, which is going to be six times 12. And then whatever you get, you're going to add them. Huh? because everything is great. So you just write down those steps. You could get that answer at a later date. You wouldn't split that top one into like three, three squares? Um, you know, you, that is, you could do that. You could actually do that. Because then 
All you got to do is that 36, and then 36 times 3, and you got all three of them. You're mm. right. You sure can. And you can still do it in two steps. Now, this guy here will be, you're going to have to divide it into those two uh, rectangles. Yeah, those, these, these are going to be two little ones. But what will they be? I know this side is four. What's this part? Two. Because you got four plus two is six plus two is eight because it has to equal this number right there. So there you go. So four times two, you got two of those. And then you do the big one, which would be eight times eight. And then you'll get that one. Okay, on the next side, the next one is what I really want to get to because it's going to be a subtraction. So go ahead and label all this guys so you could do it on your on your Google Classroom. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the circle first, but this is what I'm talking about. You have uh, you have the two shapes, but only one is gray and one is white. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the circle first. And the circle is pi r squared. Do you remember what R is? No. <laughs> that, that stands for? That's the radius. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. The radius. And what you got to remember is the radius is half of the diameter. Now, pi, we know pi is going to be equal to 3.14. And then R, what's R equal to in this case? Eight. And there we go. So we're going to do 3.14 times 8 squared. And I think I need a calculator for that. Do you have a calculator? Mm -hmm. Let me see if I got one here. I mean, can I use a calculator on my phone? Yeah. I, I, are you on your phone or are you on a computer? Uh, well, I'm on my phone and then I'm doing following along with my computer. Okay. okay. I know the eight squared is 64. So you could do the 64 times 
So can you plug that into your calculator? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got, a, I don't know, I got a big number. <laughs> How big? Like, really big. It's like... Um, 200? Yeah. Yeah. 200 point what? Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Oh, did you put pi in? Or did yeah. You put, I mean, did you put 3.14 or did you put pi? I put pi. Ah, uh, okay. Your number will be more accurate. Because pi is actually bigger than 3.14. I'm going to leave it right there. 200.16. That's not my, oh, 9.6. Okay, now I'm going to do the triangle. Now the triangle is this part. You actually already found the height. The height is going to be 8. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, because it's the same. The height of that is the same as the radius. And then you do you see the base of the triangle? Mm -hmm. It would be the 16, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do... So what you got to put in your calculator is going to be 8 times 16 divided by 2. 64. Now... You're going to subtract them. Okay, now remember the reason why I'm subtracting them is because the triangle is white and the circle is gray. If the colors are different, I'm subtracting them. But if they're the same, you add them? There you go. If they're the same, you add them. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the square. So make sure you understand how we did that. When I do this one, I got the square. which is going to be the base times the height. What's the base of the square? The 10. Yep. And the height? 10. <laughs> yep. 10 times 10 is? 100. 100. So I got the square. Now I'm going to do the circle, which is pi r squared. So what's r of this guy? 5. There you go. So I'm going to have pi times five squared. I don't know what that is. You gotta plug that in your calculator. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the heck? Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Mm. 466. No. I don't know. Maybe I'm not putting it in here, right? Because I know 5 squared is 25 and pi is 3 point something. Should, it should be in the 70s or 80s. Oh. Yeah, it's pi times. Five square. Oh, this it's seventy eight point five. That's okay, now since circles white, squares gray, it's going to be one hundred minus. Seventy eight point five, which would give us it's probably that it's that twenty one point five. Point five, yeah. Yeah. And that's how you do the ones with the different colors. So this week we only have uh the one assignment, I think. I think this is it for this week. And then next week, I think we're back to two assignments. We'll have two assignments next week. But they're not hard. Next week is an easy week. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Wait till you see it. You'll finish it fast. OK, do you guys have any other questions? Oh, uh, no, sir. Well, let me go back to the first page real fast. I think these are straightforward. You know how to do that one. We did the triangle. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. 